So now that we've discussed how to find and acquire a domain, now we need to do something with that domain name. Let's say we've got PetiteWeddingDresses.com, hypothetically. Okay. Now we need to put PetiteWeddingDresses.com onto a web server. This is this is why it's called hosting because they will take your domain and your website and let your website live on their computers because basically a website is nothing more than a bunch of files put together and displayed in a certain order that that's really all it is but a computer needs to be on all the time so you can access those files this is why hosting platforms exist because those computers stay on all the time so that when people want to access those websites they're able to now that might be a very simplified version of explaining it and there's probably a hundred ways that could be explained better but that's the best way that I can explain it so let's move on into how to actually host your domain name on your web hosting platform so we're in GoDaddy obviously and uh, you need to have an account so I'm not going to go through all the steps of setting up an account because that's basically the same no matter where you go. Credit card information, profile information, all that other kind of stuff. So let's just move on into the actual technical part. Now I'm going to go over into my account, and this is where all your domains live in uh, in in GoDaddy's eyes. All right, so let's go down here into this one, uh, Gamer Titans. Okay, this is a, a gaming site I was thinking about using, and if we go down here and we look right down here. Uh, we've got this option that says set name servers okay now this is where you're basically going this is what you're going to use to tell GoDaddy where the domain name is going to be be living at from now on so you need to check say I have specific name servers for my domain now in order to get this information these these name servers you need to go into your hosting platform into the into the control panel and find out basically the address of your hosting platform so I'm gonna log in into my my hosting platform and I'm gonna show you where to get that so here we are logged into the back end of my hostgator account now I prefer hostgator for a number of reasons most of which I can host multiple domains on one hosting account now depending on your needs will depend on what you want to go for there's a lot of different hosting platforms out there but the main point here as I'll show you is to come down here and we want to find the name servers now I'm sure you saw this on in in GoDaddy but you need to tell GoDaddy what your name servers are so that they can point the domain the domain name itself to your hosting platform that's basically again in a in a nutshell what's happening so uh, different your your name your name servers might be located in a different section if you don't use uh, hostgator but what you're looking for is the name server so we can now take this and say okay this is the name the name the name of the name servers and we can go back to GoDaddy and tell them okay I want to set my name servers and click on the link there and you want to click on I have a specific I have specific name servers for my domain and then you put in name server one just like you saw here and then name server two and then you click OK now the GoDaddy is gonna say this is gonna take about two hours or so but whatever you know, I it's it's already done so I don't even need to really worry about it or even care so at that point now within about two hours your domain will be hosted on your hosting platform just like mine is hosted now on hostgator so now in the next video what we're going to talk about is how to set up a basic wordpress blog because as i said before for these training purposes we need a website so we've got a domain and we've got a hosting platform now we need to actually put a website on that domain if you liked this video and want to see more Feel free to check out the other videos by clicking any of the links here. If you want to see more videos like this, please support this channel by subscribing, favoriting, and sharing these videos on the social media sites shown below. Also, feel free to leave comments or questions here in the videos or on our YouTube channel. Your feedback helps us to know what to talk about next. To access additional free and more detailed training on affiliate marketing, simply click the link below. Once you are there, enter your name and email address so you can receive access to more detailed training about affiliate marketing. 
Thank you, and we wish you the very best in your business.